You know, Hollywood movies have always tried to sell us on the idea of the alien invasion, spaceships coming down, little green men with their big laser guns. But the real alien invasion has arrived and it's come in the form of a tiny rock. Scientists have confirmed that a space diamond has been found on Earth. The stone is called Ion's Delight and it has more strength and hardness than a regular diamond. There is now hope that the diamond can be used to manufacture a durable material to be used for industrial purposes. And if you want to score some major points with your wife, that would be an incredible ring to buy for your spouse. I spent the better part of this past week with my niece and my brand new nephew, and as you can imagine, I had to recite countless nursery rhymes, and I think I now feel confident in writing my own. All right, check this one out. Posty Malone had a big show. Posty Malone took a big blow. All the stage handlers and all of his fans couldn't put his ribs together again. That is music superstar Post Malone, who took a massive spill during his show in St. Louis over the weekend. Luckily, the man behind the album, Stoney, in beer bongs and Bentley, only suffered a nasty bruise. X-rays were negative, so he does plan to continue with his tour. But don't let anyone tell you that being a performing artist isn't a dangerous job. I am not the biggest soccer fan. I never played it or watched it while growing up. But I think I can confidently say... This is not a scene that happens on a soccer field very often. An adult great horned owl got itself stuck in the net at a Wisconsin middle school late last week. Luckily, the teacher by the name of Abby Ward, who is known for helping animals in need, was able to spring into action. The bird stayed calm while Ward cut away at the netting. And after a few tense minutes, Abby managed to free the owl, who then flew away and into the woods. Seeing that owl struggle reminds me of watching Jeff Weller try and get his dress shirt over his head before our shows. You know, once again, we were given a full weekend slate of great football action, big comebacks, crazy catches, huge hits. But I don't think we've seen a bigger hit than the one dished out in Bloomington, Indiana. Right before halftime, the Hoosiers took a shot deep into their end zone and their own goalpost laid out the boom for players taking the brunt of this big inanimate object. You know, if they want to avoid these types of hits, they should really make them more obvious, you know. I don't think you could make them taller, you know, paint them a nice bright yellow. I don't know, just throwing a few ideas out there.